Okay, for the fun part, for those of you who have stuck around for a dramatic reading of the syllabus, I'll begin with the items that you need in order to be successful for the class. The first thing is obviously textbooks. Now, I don't want you to spend any money on buying textbooks. All of the textbooks are provided electronically on the course website. Please do not buy anything unless you feel the need to do so. The other things that you're going to need in order to be successful is that you need to install R in LaTeX. You can do this through the links on uh, the course website, or you can ask me for them. I think they're pretty readily available on Google, but ask me if you have any issues with downloading or installing. Now I want to talk about how you're going to be evaluated in this class. The first thing that we're going to do to assess how you're progressing throughout the course is having problem sets that are going to be due approximately once a week. You are going to be graded on the best six out of seven of those, so you're allowed to have one free drop. That's going to be responsible for 40% of your overall grade. We're also going to have two open book exams that you can take on your own time. Those are also going to represent 40% of your grade. And finally, you're going to have individual projects in which you turn in about a 10 page uh, data description with a full research question and a little bit of theory. That's going to constitute 20% of your grade. So specifically with regard to the problem sets, like I said, this is going to be assigned typically about every week and you're going to have about one week to do the homework. And again, this is going to vary. All of the problem sets though are going to require R and you need to write them in LaTeX form so that you can include the figures and code within the text and actually show that you took some time to curate this document. All of the homework that's going to be provided is going to be posted on my GitHub page. The problem sets are going to be evaluated by me and I'm always going to publish the correct answer every week so that we can actually look at all of each other's answers and so that we can kind of learn from what I did as well as what you did. But given that, that's going to require that everybody turn in their problem sets every week. So no problem sets that are late are going to be accepted. Um, the benefit though is that you do have the lowest problem set dropped. So being busy or you know having a low grade is just not going to be a legitimate excuse. With regard to exams, like I said, these are going to be take home exams. The dates of the exams are such that I'm going to hand them out on March 10th and April 21st. You're then going to have five days to work on them and they're going to be due before the next or preceding Monday section at 8 a.m. That way everybody has a common due date. Um, one thing that I'm going to note is that all exams are going to be cumulative. They kind of have to be in a certain way because all of the content every week is going to build on each other. So there's no way that we could have an exam at the end of the semester and not have it be cumulative. Um, all of the exams are going to be um, have some element of multiple choice as well as open responses. They're going to be graded by me. They are open book in the sense that you are free to use any of your notes from lab or lecture or from when you're reading. The main thing is, is that you're not going to find the answer per se on the internet and it's going to be very clear if you copy. So please understand that while the exams are open book per se, they are going to be much more, I guess, project or problem oriented. And so I would stress that you work independently. There is not going to be any collaboration during exams. Um, and while I understand this is an exceptional semester, 
I want to make it such that people cannot have makeup exams because the answers are going to be readily available after everyone has taken it. And so if you know that you're going to not be able to make one of these exams, please, please let me know in advance so we can coordinate as such. When you're either doing a problem set or an exam, you're going to be doing it in LaTeX and R. So I want to briefly go over how you're going to go about doing that. The first thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to download a copy of the LaTeX and R file that I provide with the instructions, the questions, as well as the data. Um, two, you're obviously going to have to have LaTeX and R downloaded. Um, you're going to have to have some sort of word processing interface for LaTeX. So LaTeX is just the code in the same way that if you download R, that's just downloading the programming language. You need to also download R Studio. So there's an equivalent for LaTeX and that's called Tech Studio. I recommend doing that because it's accessible regardless of whether you're using a Mac or Windows. Um, again, if you have any issues with these, please let me know. You'll see at the bottom, if you don't ask, I assume you know how to do this. So if there's any problem at any time, please ask me. It's kind of a problem that we're not going to be able to see each other face to face. And so unfortunately, you're going to have to take a little bit more initiative if you do run into any of these technical difficulties. Now, once you have everything downloaded and you have the copies of the tech and R files, you can now create your own file that essentially works off of that template. It would be nice if you called it, you know, problem set answers one or something like that. And then once you have edited those files, you're finished, then you can upload it to Canvas. The last thing that you're going to be assessed on this semester is your individual project. And I think this is a really important part of the class and a fun part of the class where you can really take the skills that you learn throughout the semester and apply it to something that you are more specifically interested in. And it's really hard to apply regression analysis to so many different substantive fields because everyone is coming from different departments like econ, political science, psychology, sociology, biology. And so I want you to have the ability to apply these skills to something you're interested in. Now, with regard to these individual projects, you're going to be assessed on your ability to state and test a theoretically derived hypothesis. You're going to be given some set of uh, predefined data sets, and that's kind of to be determined. Uh, we'll talk about that in a couple of weeks. Um, and then you're going to work on these projects throughout the semester by meeting collective benchmarks. And so I'll kind of talk about that later on. But I want to make sure that you're working on these throughout the semester and that you're not going to let it all pile up at the end. Um, now, the finished product that you should be aiming for is kind of a short article, so to speak, of around 10 pages that is going to report and synthesize a hypothesis, summarize the data that's being used, as well as interpret the findings from the models that you estimate. To briefly finish off the policies surrounding the course, I just want to note that I do allow for absences for religious holidays. Just please let me know in advance. And I want you to understand that I'm aware that this is an incredible semester and that there are many circumstances that we normally would not be under. So please talk to me as soon as possible if you have anything that's going to affect your ability to participate in the class. Um, and especially if you need any special accommodations to be able to participate in the class, please let me know and please let the Emory Office of Disability Services know. The 
last thing I would say is that although I would love to stick to the syllabus and say that it is set in stone, more so as a way for you to schedule your semester moving forward, but at the same time, I want you to understand that it is tentative and subject to change in case there are some extraneous circumstances that some of the students may face.